Hi there, Purposeful People. My name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering the question, what is the gospel? So if you've never heard what the gospel is before, or if you have and just don't know how to share it with others, I hope that this video helps you. Okay, so first I'm going to start with what does the word gospel even mean? So this word is translated to be good news. So the gospel is literally the good news of Jesus Christ. It's that simple. And so with good news, there is always bad news. So we're going to start with the bad news and then get to the good news of Jesus Christ. So the bad news starts in the beginning. So in Genesis, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And so in the beginning, God created everything. He created the whole earth, He created all the planets, He created the sky, the stars, the moon, the sun, the ocean, animals, plants, humans. He created us too. So He looked at it, He said, it is good. He loved His creation. It was perfect, no flaws whatsoever. Until one day, Satan tempted the humans in the form of a serpent. So the first humans of this earth were named Adam and Eve, the first female and male of the whole wide world. That is so cool. But they were tempted by the devil in the form of a serpent to eat fruit from a tree that God told them not to eat. God told them you could have all the fruit from any other tree except for this one. But Satan, in the form of a serpent, twisted what God said. He said, did he really say that? And that's what Satan likes to do a lot today, too. He twists scripture. He twists what God says to make it seem like he didn't say so. So the humans fell for it. The humans were tempted, and they responded to that temptation and sinned. And so sin is anything that disobeys God, anything bad that we do that goes against him, anything that goes against God in act, attitude, or nature. So the humans rebelled against God. They ate of that tree, and that is when sin was birthed into this world. So they were in complete, utter perfection of a fellowship with God. They were always with Him, never separated. It was perfect in every single way. But when they took that first bite, they were separated from God. They knew that they were naked, and they were afraid. So that is when sin first entered the world. And so sin causes a separation between us and God. And so that is what happened. And as a result of that first sin, we still experience the consequences of sin today. And so that is why in our world, it is broken. We have pain, we have suffering, we have sickness, we have death. All of those are results from sin. And so that first started in that garden way back then. And here enters some good news, Jesus. So years and years later, God sent his one and only perfect son, Jesus Christ, who was fully God and fully man at the same time to live in this broken world that we have destroyed. So he lived here as the only perfect being. He never sinned. He was completely flawless. And that was what caused the humans to hate him. They did not like that he was sinless. And they accused him of sinning even though he never did. And so as a result, the humans sentenced Jesus to die on a cross. Little did they know that him dying on a cross would actually atone for our sins and our brokenness. And so Jesus withstood the beating and the mocking and the humiliation of it all. It was so painful that y'all, they had to create a new word in the dictionary to describe the pain that Jesus went through. The word excruciating, that came from Jesus' crucifixion. Crazy, crazy amount of pain and suffering. But he withstood it all because he loved us that much. And so he died on a cross for our sins. We should have been up on that cross. And he had all the power to take himself down. Remember, he's fully God and fully man. But he stayed on the cross to save us. And so he died on the cross. And it looked like all hope was gone. What had happened? Our Savior had died. But here's the good news. Jesus Christ rose again. Three days later, resurrected from the grave, when everyone thought he was dead, he was not. He was alive. And so he came and rose again, defeating sin, death, hell, and the grave forever. And so then he ascended up into heaven, and he's going to come back someday. And all of those who are saved will experience resurrection and eternal life with him. What greater news is that? And so that is the good news, the gospel of Christ. 
And that means that we need to respond to that good news. And so how can we experience this good news? How can we go from being stuck in the bad news of our sin to the good news of freedom of our sin? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So the first thing you want to do is A, admit to God that you are a sinner and repent. And repent is just a fancy word that means turning away from your old sins and your old ways, turning towards God's ways. So A, admit to God that you're a sinner and repent. B, believe that Jesus Christ is the only perfect Son of God who came, died on the cross for our sins, and rose again three days later. A, admit to God that you're a sinner and repent. B, believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the perfect Son of God who died and rose again. And C, confess Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior and Lord and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You are now made a new creation in Christ. So simply go to God, pray those things, and He will save you. He will set you free from your sin. He is a forgiving God, and your past does not define you, but you can be made new in Jesus Christ. And so that is the good news of the gospel. And so if this is your first time hearing it, I pray that you respond to it. And if you've heard it a million times, I hope that this just re-emphasizes the importance of it and the importance of sharing the gospel with those who don't know it because this is the most important thing you could ever share. And so share this video with your friends, share it with people who need to hear it, and just meditate on the gospel for yourself. If you want a video on ways that I have learned how to share the gospel and ways that I share the gospel, I would love to do that. There's a lot of unique ways that you can share it. But thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!